Hey guys, Kayla from Ivory Mix, and today I'm sharing a little behind the scenes of how I select props for my next stock photo shoot. This next shoot, actually I have two shoots, a lifestyle shoot and a uh, still life shoot, is inspired by two colors, seafoam green and sort of a sandy brown. I have to plan ahead of time, so that means going and going through my props and picking things that go with the color scheme as well as going to the store and purchasing things. So I'm gonna walk you through and unbag some of the things that I found at Target. Okay, side note, I filmed a intro to this video and an outro to this video prior to me doing my hair. So I decided real quickly this morning to do a real quick intro and um, debut this new hairstyle. <laughs> in the best way possible. So I'm using my phone and I'm literally using a side table in my living room and a lamp and I'll show you. So there's the side table and a lamp and I'm next to my front door. You gotta do what you gotta do, people. So let's check out what I got from Target. The first thing that I got is this gold bag. And the reason why I got this gold bag is because it's pretty versatile as well as um, a possible hero for the stock photos, meaning that it's large and with other elements like maybe makeup brushes or other things that you would store inside of a bag, it could be a good focal point for the stock photos. So and I also like the fact that it has this little end tassel there. So. That's one item, and it was only $3. The next item I got was a gold bracelet. This gold bracelet comes with a card and an envelope, and it's $3. And so I mostly got it for the bracelet part. I'm going to probably wear it in a few of the photos. This, this one wasn't cheap. This one I liked because it has gold and it's very vintage looking, but it's obviously not also got it at Target. This item was not cheap and was not $3. This item was actually $16, but it's good to buy investment pieces like this that you can get a lot of mileage out of. And it's nice high quality, has a little bit of sheen to the handle. This is something that was pretty cheap. It has the little string elastic band thing to keep it held together so I can take the photo and hide it and so you wouldn't notice but again it was only three dollars now of course it has pink on the inside which could be good for other photos um, but I also like the pattern that's on the inside so you have three different elements the outside this pattern that you can use, as well as the lined paper, and then as well as this version with the elastic band. So it's got some sparkles on it, so it has to be cleaned up, but for $3 worth the investment because it's sort of a staple piece, being that it's a solid color, um, I can use it in many photos. This is another possible hero for some of the images that I plan to take because it has a signature um, emblem on it of an anchor but I really wanted to go for that sandy sea foam color scheme and so this being nice and textured it gives that feeling like sand so I really like it again this has the elastic band but you can take the photo with or without it I liked these pens for a few different reasons. I liked them for the cream caps and the sort of neutral colored 
bodies to them and they were only a dollar. So I'll get lots of mileage out of them by themselves or together. Okay, so that's what I've unbagged from Target and that's what I plan to have in some of the stock photos. But I have a question. When it comes to flat lays, do you prefer a white background, a mixture of different backgrounds like wood plank or solid colors, as well as white backgrounds? Let me know in the comments and you just may see your suggestion in the next stock photos. By the way, I'm not really sure why I'm whispering. Whatever. <laughs>